Well, hey all, this is Rich over at TVP Live with yet another quick tips tutorial brought to you by Adobe Photoshop Elements Tutorials Group. And let's jump right in with today's poster. I wanted to add Nick over here on this layer over to this layer and put him over here in the corner and have all the shadows match. So what I'm noticing is this is really harsh shadows. The sun is uh, off to the right here, to our right, and uh, in front of them. So we're going to have to match those shadows. Let's go ahead and grab Nick uh, layer and bring it over to this um, project and we'll go ahead and drop it in. So basically um, what's happening is the poster originally put Nick here like right around here and he was seemed to be almost a little bit taller like that let's say. So um, the problem is is that it looks like he's floating above the ground so we really need to bring him almost to the same level as this guy right here. So I'm going to bring him down a little bit next to the other person. Then we can make him a little bit taller like this and straighten him out. He's a little bit sideways, so we go like this. And there we go. Now, the other problem we have is there's not enough space here on the edge of the picture. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off Nick's layer and I'm going to actually grab this corner of the picture with the box right around here up to the edge of the tractor. I'm going to right click. I'm going to hit copy. Now let's go ahead and just drag this a little bit longer. And now we just added a little more space so we don't have to squeeze Nick in so close. So now I'm going to zoom in again and pull Nick over like this. And there we go. Next, I'm going to marry this extra piece of background with the other one. So I'm going to right click here and hit merge down. So our background is now just one image and Nick is on his own layer. Next, what we want to do is add the shadows. First, the light side is pretty much the same as this light side, so I don't want to worry about that. If I were to try to go to enhance lighting and brightness and try to change the brightness, you can see what's happening is it's changing the overall brightness affecting the light area. We really want to keep that light area uh, pretty much where it's at. And if we hit the contrast, it's going to make the picture too contrasty on the whole portion. So we can add a little bit right around there and hit OK. Let's go ahead and grab a black, pure black brush here, color. And I want a larger brush so that it tapers off. And I'm going to match these shadows like this. And then he's got a shadow over here that goes across here, down the arm, across here. There's a little bit going on right around here. He's got a little bit in here, and if we bring it down, you see the inside of the leg here. We're going to copy that, going all the way down to the foot, and the same thing with this side. And that's going to be the shadows. But now, since we obviously drew too much, we want to erase the stuff that we don't want. So let's go ahead and take that layer. I'm going to lessen the opacity grab another eraser, get a small eraser, like, I don't know, like 20 point, and I'm going to draw out everything beyond the actual picture of Nick. And then just kind of drawing along the edge here. We're going to keep some of this over here, but come back into the legs. And we're just basically erasing or drawing with the eraser to get rid of the shadow beyond Nick. Now that we got that, we want to get rid of the extraneous stuff. So I'm going to bring pull that back up to 100%. I'm going to turn off everything else. And with the lasso tool, I'll just go ahead and lasso everything that I don't want. And get rid of all that other stuff. And I'll hit delete, and that gets rid of that portion. And once we got them, let's go ahead and turn the background and play around with that shadow. So we can lessen it, or we can bring it a little bit back so that it matches more the other picture. Finally, take the smudge brush, get a big smudge brush of like, I don't know, 75 point, and we can now smudge in some of the shadows back to where it's supposed to be, which is just right on the edge here. See that? We don't want any here on the arm on this side. This will accentuate just the portions that we want. And there we go, as far as that portion is concerned. We've got our shadows starting to go exactly where we want them to go, and that's looking pretty good. Now I can just lessen it maybe to like 40% or like that. I'm going to toggle this so you can see this, the difference. Look at that. 
That's looking like right on. The last thing you want to do is add a little shadows down at the bottom because he is in the grass. And you see the shadows on this person here? We want to match that. So let's take Nick and put a layer underneath him with the black brush. And we're just going to take a like a 50 point brush. I'm just going to add a little bit of smudge like that and do the same thing like this. Now with the smudge brush, I can extend the shadow. See how this one is extended all the way across? I can extend this like that. Bring this up there. Just play around with it. Here we're going to bring this a little bit on top of this guy's shadow. Now let's go ahead and take the opacity and play around with that. Go from off, bring it up a little bit, bring a little more, a little more, a little more. I like that right around 55% and that's looking really good. Watch this before, after, before, after. And that's all there is to it really. Here we go. We got Nick standing there. He's got his shadows just like everybody else has got and it's looking really natural. This is Rich calling it quits for this tutorial saying over and out.